Suspect. Oh, yeah? Mr. Bowen. That's a pretty interesting development, right? Same again. He's actually done quite a bit more damage this time. He's destroyed everything I had. And you say that your whole crop's been ruined this time, Gwen? Look at it! Might still work in a soup. Oh, might actually. And you say it's 12 courgettes, yeah? Yes, 12. OK. We've got a few wide shots. Gwen, can you just stand in the middle there with the most damaged courgette? Oh, that is mangled. How about the biggest courgette that was damaged? Perfect. Yeah, yeah, nice. It's him, you know, Mr Bowie. The thing, the thing is, we can't really print that, he's just a suspect. Otherwise, it's defamatory. Oh, he's had a bee in his bonnet ever since they took away his traffic cone. OK, I think we got it. Traffic cone. Outside his house. Because he thinks he deserves a disabled bay. Got a bad heart. Bad heart, yeah, we cover this story. Don't really go anywhere. Gwen, are you able to kneel down and point at some of the damage? OK, yeah. Ooh. Fuck's sake. <sighs> OK. <sighs> OK, we got it. Maybe just a couple more? Yeah? Candid, doco style. Magic. No, oh, he's in a good mood. Oh, yeah. We're very lucky to have Billy back. He's, um, experienced. Oh, is that why he's got that limp? It's, um, uh, it didn't go very well. He's smashing his new role. Well, I know your dad is very proud of you both. Well, we're just trying to breathe a bit of new life into it, you know, get the readership online, social media, that sort of thing. Yeah, but he thinks he's overqualified, doesn't he? The thing is, being in a war zone isn't necessarily all it's cracked up to be. There's plenty of action here in North Sheen to keep us busy. <laughs> How are we looking, bro? Did you get some candid stuff? Yeah, we definitely got it covered. Ah, it's not enough, though. <sighs> Look, we've got all the angry pointing stuff, we've got the squat... No, the that story, was... it's not enough. Oh. We've got a suspect, but without any evidence, all we can print is... Courgette slasher strikes again. Yeah, well, he's struck again a few times now. Exactly. It's not front-page news. We need to blow this thing wide open. shed and wait for the Taliban to come. The courgette slasher, yeah. It's a strike when they least expect it. Exactly. A stakeout will catch him doing it. Huh? A stakeout. No, no, that's, that's a mad idea. But it's perfect. The attacks have consistently been increasing in frequency. He's clearly desperate to return to the scene of the crime. If we say it tonight, we'll almost definitely get him. The green menace caught Redanda. Think about it. How much longer do you boys need? I want to get back in time for casualty. Gwen, if you had to guess, who do you think the slasher would hit next? That one. Mr Creswell, the head teacher of the school. He's the only one that voted against the traffic code that hasn't been done yet. And his marrows are just coming up. We're going to stay here and stake out the slasher. Oh, suit yourself. If you're still here when it's finished, I'll be back with a flask of tea. Thanks, Gwen. Great working with you. Have fun. No, no, it's a mad idea. Look, we've inherited a readership of about zero. Dad has no idea what state it was in when he left it to us, but it would kill him to see the paper fold. It's just a silly paper. It's not silly, Billy. Look, if the paper dies, we can just move on with our lives. Seriously? This is the only job I've ever known. I'm sorry, but it's not exactly like you've got that much to show for your big career as a war photographer, is it? 
a bit of PTSD and a maybe from the Guardian picture desk and you're back here at the boring old Herald. Well, there's always a job for you to come back to. Billy, this could save the paper. think so. Billy, did you see in January we ran an article on men's mental health? I was away. I've just emailed it to you. But basically, it's 2019. Men are talking about these things now. It's from you. I'm serious. I'm your brother. I'm giving you a chance. Your side of the story. That's the power of journalism. Raymond. What's going on, Mr. Bowen? Why are you slashing everyone's vegetables? Raymond. What's the link, mate? Raymond, he's dying. Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Call an ambulance. We can't. We'll be culpable. Roman, he's dying. There's some space in the shed. We could bury him. <laughs> Not bury me. Billy, I think we should bury him. Don't you dare. I know this guy. No one's going to miss him. You little tosser. Just please call an ambulance. <laughs> Call an ambulance now. Right. Okay, Mr. Bowen. My name's Billy. Can you hear me? Just stay with me, okay? You're vandalizing. Courgette. Oh. Mr. Bowen? Well, well, how well do you know North Sheen? Yeah, the, the allotment's behind St. Christopher's Primary School. Okay, right. I'm just going to pop you into recovery position, okay, Mr. Bowen? Nice and gentle. Uh, yep. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll check, I'll check. They say, is he still breathing? Is there another number for dead bodies, or is that you guys as well? Okay, see you in a bit. Yep. An ambulance is coming anyway. Slasher, anyway. Yeah, yeah. And the photos turn out. Hmm. Pretty good. Oh yeah. Pretty good. <sighs> nice. <laughs> 